Hey guys, um, Tuesday. So this week is um, things that you want to do in life. Um, um, I've always wanted to go skydiving. I've also always wanted to, I guess like bungee jumping is like the same category, but I really like adventure stuff. I've always wanted to, this is like my biggest um, dream. <laughs> you guys probably would never guess this, but I want to one summer, I guess, when I'm older, I want to rent, like, a, or even buy, it depends on how successful I am, um, <laughs> buy, like, a really nice, like, sailboat, and, like, I know how to sail, I was, I was taught when, my grandpa taught me when I was growing up, and I learned, like, I went to, like, a sailing school thing over the summer one, it was, like, a two-week program near, like, my summer house, and they taught you how to sail, I guess. So I know how to sail. Um, so I want to, like, rent one and then, like, travel, like, around, not, like, around the world, but, like, I would feel like I would want to do it in, like, like, Italy. So I would, like, travel around, like, Europe. Especially, like, the Mediterranean, like, Greece would be gorgeous. That would be pretty cool. Um, so that's, like, my biggest dream. Um, other than that... Things I want to do. Oh, another another big dream I've had is of mine. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> I don't watch it like when we're up here and at school, but like when I'm home, my go-to channel is like Food Network. So I always thought like like I can cook. Uh, I guess I consider myself a good cook. Um, but I would always like dream to be like a Food Network. Star. So, if, uh, if I hate my profession in the future, I might go back and maybe, I don't know. Um, what else? Hmm. Oh, uh, my parents are very strict, so my mom, like, really doesn't care, but my dad, he's very religious and very old-fashioned. So when I told my parents or told my mom that I wanted to get a tattoo, my mom was like, oh, just think about how it would look in 80 years. That's her normal, like, do you know how gross? I don't, frankly, I don't give a shit. When I'm fucking 80, I don't care what I look like. Um, <laughs> my dad is, you get a tattoo, you're financially cut off. <laughs> so I've had this idea in, like, my mind for about three years, ever since, like, my grandpa started getting sick. Um, so, my idea, I want to get a compass rose. This tattoo is going to be, like, the size of my calf, which is, uh, bigger than that. That's pretty big, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so, I want to get it. It's going to be a compass rose. Very, like, detailed. I also want to... If anybody knows what a, a Celtic um, knot is, I kind of want that incorporated into the compass rose somehow. I don't know how I would do it, but I guess I would let that be the interpretation of the uh, tattoo artist. And I also have wanted to put in scroll writing on the top or like going around the compass saying until, I, until we meet again. And then... <clears throat> Put in script every person's um, initials that's like who's passed away, who's like meant something to me. So like my grandpa, both my grandfathers, um, my aunt, then a couple of like I feel like and and this would be an ongoing tattoo. So like as my life changes and that has I like grow up, I'm gonna keep like, adding, I guess, my tribute to those people that, like, have changed my life in somehow, in some way. Um, can't believe I'm listening to this A-track station. <sighs> I'm gonna stop that, that's distracting. Find a good song, though. Um, so, Megan will like this one. Lana Del Rey, video games. <laughs> Oh, that song is just ridiculous. 
Um, okay, so this is taking forever. Um, so that's my tattoo idea. Um, I'm thinking, like, actually of getting it maybe when I turn 21, but <laughs> again, I have to think of the consequences. <laughs> I don't think he would do anything, but you never know. <laughs> um, so... I'm kind of not ready to be financially cut off from my parents. So, okay. This is a long ass video. I'm sorry, guys. Um, hope everybody is doing okay. And I will see you next week.